Yan, city center. Mga 30 minutes walk. So, lalakarin natin. Umaga, quarter to nine. Pupunta ako ng city center kasi si ididiposito ko yung check eh. Na natanggap ko mula sa road tax. Alam nyo na, bininta ko yung sakyan. Kaya ibinalik sa akin yung kalahati ng road tax. So, but pinadala nila ako ng check eh. Kaya kailangan ideposito sa bangko. Naka-day off ako ngayon. Na-drop off ko na si Sophia sa school. So, didiretso ako sa city center. At maglalakad lang ako para exercise. Maganda maglakad dito sa England pag ganito kasi hindi mainit, malamig. Tingnan niyo naka-jacket pa ako. Nung unang taon ko rito sa England, wala akong kotse, di ba? Pag naka-duty ako nung umaga, Sunday, wala talagang bus. So ito, nilalakad ko ito mula sa apartment, papunta ng university, ng one hour walk. So alas 7 yung duty ko. Um, naglalakad ako ng 5.30 na madaling araw. Ang masama lang, pag, alam nyo na rito sa England, pag winter, yun ang hindi maganda maglakad so, pero tiniis ko yun ng apat na taon so, four years pero hindi naman every Sunday may duty ako rotation kasi pero pag nagkataon na may duty ako Sunday morning so nilalakad ko to mura doon sa apartment hanggang university ng isang oras pag magkotse ka papunta ng city center mas mahal kasi yung parking ang mas mahal dito. Grabe yung mahal dito ng parking. Dolyaris. Hindi pala pounds. Mas mahal. So, buti na. Kahit na may sakyan ako noon, pag pumunta ako ng city center, nagbabas ako. Kasi mas mura yung bus dito. Ngayon, one ride is 2 pounds. Pabalik, 2 pounds o 4 pounds lang. Pero pag unlimited ride, mga 6 pounds 20 ang magbabayaran mo pero dahil gusto kong maglakad exercise okay na rin 30 minutes lakad malamig ang panahon hindi mahirap maglakad kasi fresh ang uh, hangin si disinter na so doon pa ako banda so mula doon sa apartment hanggang dito 20 minutes hindi naman kalayuan maganda nga maglakad lakad Uh, kasi malamig ang panahon hindi mainit so okay maglakad so yan uh, 20 minutes pero doon pa ako banda sa unahan so exacto mga 25 to 30 minutes na lakad pero ito consider na ito na Manchester City Center ito yung Market Street ito yung pinaka busy na Market Street dito sa Manchester so yun yung bangko Lloyd's Pasok tayo sa loob para madeposito natin yung check eh. Ito lang yung sadya ko ngayon para madeposito yung check sa aking bank ko. Lloyd's Bank. Nakakatawa. Nagpa-assess ako. Sabi ko paano deposit yung check eh. Sabi niya, pumunta ka lang pa dito dahil sa check eh, deposito sa bank mo. Sabi ko, oh. Sabi niya, pwede mong gawin yan sa apps. Nako. So, tinuruan nila ako kung paano gawin sa app. Sabi niya sa akin, more than 5,000 pounds saka ka pupunta sa bangko. Pero less than 5,000 saka pwede mong gawin sa apps. So, nagpagod ako kasi kunti lang naman, barya lang naman. Uh, yung road tax ko lang naman na hindi ko natapos. Kasi one year, nagbabayad ka ng road tax dito pag may second ka. Pag bibenta mo yung kotse mo, tapos uh, halimbawa in the middle of the year binenta mo so may refund ka kumbaga refund lang naman itong na, na, natanggap ko mula, mula sa DVLA kumbaga sa atin LTO uh, tapos diniposito ko sa bangko ko kaya nga lang pwede palang gawin sa apps nagpagod pa ako 
yun, uh, anyway, at least alam ko na na pwede pa lang gawin sa app. Nandito lang din naman ako. So, susulitin ko na yung time ko dito sa city center. Sa bagay, di off ko na. So, ilang two days na lang. Ano ngayon? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, babiyay na kami ng Czech Republic. So, two days left. And then, bakasyon namin sa Czech Republic. So, maaaring ito yung huling video ko dito sa Manchester this this month. And then, uh, Yeah, ang uh, next video ko siguro sa Czech Republic na. Naggrocery na rin ako. At uh, bumili na rin ako ng uh, dalawang pantalon. Dito ko nilagay sa bag. Kasi yung aking waistline dati 36, ngayon 32 na lang. So yung mga pantalon ko, siyempre nag uh, hindi na magkasya, lumuwag. So bumili ako ng dalawa at least yun so yun. pahinga lang ako dito sa tabi tabi nakakalakad mga dalawang oras ako naglalakad lakad dito magandang exercise at uh, pauwi na so uwi na ako at uh, mag aabang ako ng bus hindi, kaya, hindi ko na kaya maglakad ng 30 minutes pabalik so sakay ako ng bus 2 pounds lang pamasahe bus ayun karalating ko lang at ang oras ay alas 12 si Jess. Tamang tama. At ako ay nagluluto ng aking pananghalian. Uh, simple lang para sa aking uh, protein. Ito ang aking inihanda. Yun. Uh, pork. Shoulder. So nilagyan ko lang ng asin, paminta, tsaka uh, mixed spices. Uh, ganyan lang, prito yan ang para kay Hannah at Sophia dahil nag request si Hannah uh, sinabawang manok na may pansit may noodles so ang dating niya mga alas 4 imedia so umpisahan ko ng luto ng mga alas 4 para masarap yung higop nila pag mainit ang sabaw so ewan ko parang uh, sabi niya pwede ka bang magluto ng sinabawang manok na may pansit noodles gusto gusto niya rin yun pero yung style ko sa pagluto ng sinabawang manok parang tinula so lagyan ko lang ng pansit yun at uh, magluluto mo na ako kasi uh, 22 hours na akong uh, naka fasting so, tamang tama mga 23 hours kain na si Japit Boy still one meal a day para maintain ang timbang Lunch time, so, dalawang itlog, dalawang pork steak na pernito ko lang with salt and uh, mixed spices. Sa aking fat, meron akong avocado. Yan. Tapos salad. So nakapag-pray na ako. Kain tayo. One meal a day? Mmm. Mm. The best. So, 23 hours lang ako nag-fasting ngayon. Dati kasi, for the last one week, 26, 27 hours. Ngayon, 23 lang. Kasi nagutom talaga ako. Kakalaka doon sa city center. Mukhang naubos ko talaga yung aking enerhiya. Kaya sabi ko 23 lang, okay na yun. So, ito yung unang una at huli kong kain ngayong araw. So, kain tayo! Mm. Mm -hmm. Ma-appreciate mo talaga yung pagkain pag gutom mo ka. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mga... Two and a half hours din akong paikot-ikot dun sa city center. Nag-grocery ako. Bumili ako ng dalawang pantalon. Kasi yung mga dating pantalon, ang waistline is 36. Talaga palang bumayat ako. Yung waistline ko ngayon is 
Kaya pinalitan ko. Hmm. So, kaya mo na. Hmm. Hindi ko kayang ubusin. Medyo busog na ako. Pag yung tiyan nyo, nasanay ng kumain ng maliit. Minsanan lang. Talagang kunting pagkain, mabubusog ka kagad. So, yun ang maganda. Yung hindi ka nagkikrave ng pagkain. Saka ka lang kakain pag gutom ka. Hindi pa ako nagmimeryenda. So, one meal a day lang talaga. So, yun. Pero kakain ko itong abukado ko. Kasi dito, yung abukado, dito ako kumukuha ng good fats. Stay healthy, stay fit. <sighs> Yun. Aming veg soup noodles with chicken. Ayan. Paborito ni Hana na vegetables. Soup. Soup. Sa malamig na panahon. Still cold. Still cold? Oh yeah. Request by Hana yung soup noodles with chicken. Parang tinula naman to. Tapos sinalo ko lang yung noodles. Hmm. Noodles. Noodles. Mm -hmm. Noodles. Noodles. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Wow. Mm. Sophia loves noodles. She's a noodle girl. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, darling. Yeah, for cooking. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. 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 <sighs> 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 Which one's mine? You can choose. Is it the... Okay, okay. Na kayo. Good? Mm. Enough I, salt? I'm mm. just mixing it in. Yeah, I can even uh, taste the lemongrass there. Mm. Nice, no? It's lemongrass? Hot. You don't like lemongrass? The taste of lemongrass? I like the taste of lemongrass. Mm. What's lemongrass? Not really. But no? But, uh, oh, all Filipino loves lemongrass. Yeah. I'm sorry, but in my family and most of the village people, when we cook chicken soup, first we put chicken uh, lemongrass. Then after that, we throw the lemongrass. We don't eat the lemongrass, of course. Tanglad, yun. Mm -hmm. Nice? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, yay! <laughs> So, Sophia, galing yun sa school. Dumiretso sa dentist. Si Hannah naman ay galing sa work. Pick up Sophia and then uh, went straight to dentist. So, ako? Yan, yeah, alam niyo na. Kanina, punta ko sa town. Tapos nagluto, kumain. Nagluto uli pala sa kanila. Yan lang naman ang buhay. Nice one, right? <laughs> Tinola. <laughs> no, that's a tinula. That's a tinula, manok. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so good. Huh? It's so good. Very good? Why is it so hot? <laughs> I don't like it when you make it too hot. No, they just, just cook. But they just finish cooking. I just blow slowly. Like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice weather outside. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I walk around in the city center for almost two enough hours. And what is funny? Mm -hmm. I went there for the check, right? For the check? Check. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I said like, so you mean you came here for the check? Yeah. You can do this in your apps. Really? Yeah. But how you just... can I dispose the check? I don't understand. You Why dispose the check? You just take the picture of the check. You go on apps, there is a check, upload check, mm -hmm. take picture of the check. It's mm -hmm. automatically, all everything is, you know, automatic. Clever, right? Yeah, clever. Mm -hmm. And he said to me, as long as the money 
is not above 5,000 pounds. So you can do it through ups. So, yeah. Good. Hmm? Well, at least it was knowledgeable journey. <laughs> <laughs> It was a journey of knowledge. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today. Because you didn't know before, yeah? No, Any I didn't questions? know. Questions? No questions so far. No question. I have a question for you. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you excited to go to holiday? Mm hmm If you have to decide it, where would you go? Where would you rather go? Czech Republic or Italy? Italy. <gasps> No offense, I just I've just never been like Italy. And I've been to Czech Republic many times. Like, if I've never been to Czech Republic before, then probably Czech Republic because I found. Give me if you choose me if you ask me Czech Republic or Italy. Of course, Italy. We went to Czech Sorry. Republic. So then you should marry Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Republic of Philippines. I'm sorry, mommy. <laughs> I don't know why. It's because the weather is beautiful there. Um, but so like, Sofia is obviously fed up of Czech Republic then. <laughs> no, but but I feel like I'm more close to my family in Czech Republic than Philippines. Mm -hmm. But Philippines, beautiful weather, it's amazing. Mm. Beautiful beaches. Mm. And that time, are you excited to go? Of course, yeah. In three months, I have never eaten sugary foods, sugary bread, oh. <laughs> any bread. So. so Sugar rush. Sugar rush. Sugar rush. Not that much. I'm just gonna try. That like. will be Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> yeah. The sugar. Yes, because Czech Republic have good pastries, but I don't really like the pastries. No, I am. Um, in Philippines, we have a very nice bread. We, you, we just don't try the bread there because you you focus on the main food, the main dish. But aside from Pandisal, we have um, in Saimada, Pandimongo. Pandikoko. The feeling of this bread, especially when you buy it in a special bakery. That's so delicious. Okay. Munai. Next time, oh. next time we will go to city. Yeah. And it's gonna only be the bakery and pastry yes. show. Yeah. Philippines, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Especially in um why did you not do that last time? Because you, you focus on the main food. After main food, I you oh, you were all uh, full. I already tried all the main food. I've tried them at home here. I've tried <laughs> them in the Philippines. Like, <laughs> but I've tried Dory for the first time. It was... Yeah, I know. Next time. There's so many, there's so many next time. I hate Dorian. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's all, Pink Guy. So say mm -hmm. bye for now. And see you in Czech Republic, okay? Not yeah, next vlog, Czech Republic. No, journey. Okay, I will vlog in journey. <laughs> I will vlog, but that, that's a common vlog journey. Alright, okay. anyway, so bye for now. Bye. See ya. Bye.